Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers as well. Hey, how we doing? Okay, so today we are going to be doing uh, is there blame, shame, regret and remorse or all remorse and all one of the two. It's kind of just flag up and see what happens. So I've got some new decks for us. Um, I haven't actually used them yet. I've used them for myself, like, I try and get the energy going in them, but I figured this is a good time to use them. They're from the same kind of brand, brand, but there's different, there's different um, themes to them all. I'm not going to tell you the themes, um, because I don't want that to sway you, but what I want to do is with this, this is, um, I'm going to show you the images on each deck. Uh, I'll, I'll show you a couple of the images, and I want you, well me and me guys, it's not really me, want you to go with which imagery you're more drawn to. So this is going to be deck number one, so here's some of the pictures from deck number one so you'll feel a pull from your heart center your heart centered energy um to which deck you want to go for they're really big they are dead big so deck number one i like these decks because they're all individual artists um so every a single art every single artist there's 78 artists and they've painted each one's painted a separate card so that's deck number one, and that is deck number two. So whichever imagery you are more drawn to from your heart centre, I want you to pick that one. Well, we want you to pick that one. These are a bit darker, but it depends what kind of energy you're in. They're not a dark deck, but the imagery on them is a little bit, a little bit darker. Okay, that's not going to do you any good. So a couple more. Debum. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so pick your deck. So, which imagery you were more drawn to? Deck number one or deck number two? Pick your deck. And do, 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 do. okay, let's go. So, this is our massive deck. So, I'm gonna have to work out how I'm gonna shuffle these. So, as always, we're gonna go work on the strongest mutual energy. Someone, a couple of people said to me, well, one person said to me, can't you use six decks? There's no point because we work on, I don't know how other readers work, but we work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. And it's not based on situations and what's happening because it's all your mutual energy pulled out into a deck. It doesn't matter if I use one deck, well, two decks or six decks, because it will still say the same. It will work on the mutual energy, if that makes sense to you all. Okay, can you tell me please, think about your person, can we put that? Tap in tune and turn on to their Pearson's energy and can we get that mutual energy from that and can you tell us please is there blame, shame, regret and slash or remorse. Okay. Take the top one. Someday somebody's gonna make you wanna turn around and say goodbye. Uh, hold on, hold on, who's that by? It's an old song, it's an old, old song, um, from, I was, I think it was three or four when I came out, I'm sure it's called Hold On, is there blame, shame, regret and remorse? We're going to do a card. Okay, so there is, to a degree, not 100%. Now, with what's coming through on this mutual deck, there is an element of kind of deception that has been happening. Whether that is you that has been deceptive, whether that is them that has been deceptive, um, they kind of there's been a, like a weighing up of a choice and a decision and one of you, it seems to be more than in this deck, some of you will be, it will be you that's made the choice, but the majority of this deck, it has been your person that has made this choice. Um, and therefore you're left out feeling that there's been stuff going on that you don't know about. If it's you that's made the choice, again, it reiterates the other way around. Um, they've been feeling as if, well, you're, you've been feeling as if you've been stabbed in the, da in, in the back, let go, hurt, and they've kind of done a runner, majority of you. Again, if that isn't you, that will be them, if that makes sense. So by whichever way, you, whichever side of the coin 
basically. So there's that element of kind of remorse that is going on. Um, there has been some deception. Some of these are little white lies that have been going on. Some of these have been heavier lies. You do know about it. And those of you that are trying to fight against that, please follow your gut intuition. Now, if your gut intuition is saying, oh, no, Ali, it, I don't feel that, then trust that, okay? But as it's your collective energy, there is that gut instinct energy kind of coming through, sticking out it's there so keep that at the back of your mind now with the scales over here we have justice okay so um it's kind of been weighing up the good and the bad the light and the dark there has been an element of strong duality within your relationship um some of it has been more one-sided than the others but it does take two hands to clap now i know you some of you are gonna go ali no he's an arsehole blah 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 i know that or oh, sorry lads they were an arsehole or whatever but it does take two hands to clap there is always an action and a reaction i'm not saying i'm justifying anything that anybody has done that's not my job but i've just have to read your cards for you okay um one of you has been acting more on heart-centered energy and one of you has been acting more on spiritual energy i'm hearing as well um you are feeling much more strong and in your power um, but with all this kind of energy that's going on because you've kind of got into that strength and you've got into that power you are wanting them to feel this blame shame regret and remorse now they are to an extent but not all of them not all of them there seems to be a lot more kind of blame coming from your part please don't shoot the messenger blame coming from your part um shame kind of coming from both of your parts because it's took well more them shame's cut sorry shame's come from them spirit corrected me then uh so blame on your part because you're saying right i blame you shame from their part regret from both of your parts and remorse again kind of from both of your parts because whatever has happened it's kind of both of you want to kind of sweep it under the carpet now i'm hearing um but there is going to be a bit of a recovery time on this deck okay um the scales are kind of more balancing there has been a lot of weapons used like wet laying it's time to kind of lay the weapons down a lot of this has been acting on instinct you've kind of gone into fight or flight mode or they have so some kind of situations have arose and the fight or flight mode natural instinct has kicked in um and that's where the weaponry has kind of come some of them have run some of them you've had big arguments whatever your individual circumstances that has happened um and spirit is saying it's kind of time to lay the weapons down now that's not just for you that's for them too okay not that they'll the, well they might be watching so oi if you're watching lay your weapons down um lot of icy kind of energy it's got quite tense between the two of you um quite strong strong energy between the two of you and um, needing for security and stability and from that has arisen these strong passionate energies which has made it go it's the hurricane tornado situation for the majority of you in this deck passionate energies um when you're acting on passion you go into fight or flight mode don't you you know, I do, I push people away. If I feel, or, or I fight for them, and then I get to the stage that I fought for them enough that I push them away. It's that fight or flight and energy. It's that natural instinct that we all have, but they're saying it's time to lay your weapons down. I'm seeing about offering an olive branch. Now, what that will happen with some of you, uh, majority of you you will get that from them some of you will try and offer it to them they will not respond so just be careful with that be careful well some of them will respond but some of you they won't respond don't let it get to you give them a bit of space give them a bit of time and they will come back with that olive branch um but they need this time to kind of breathe from it all at the moment um so they again you've got the king of swords and you've got the empress so remember it's never gender specific or sexually orientated but the empress is coming through as your female energy as the female energy um but the the yeah and the king of swords is their energy it has been this kind of splitting down the middle of the two of you there isn't like um a common ground at this point in time there will be it's coming back you have the lovers over here but what's happened is when you've been trying to fight for this love um you've kind of gone all hot as a whole it could be the other way around remember you've gone uh, heart-centered energy heart-centered emotions i love you be with me la 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 and they've got this lightning coming down in the power like nah nah fight or flight and that then has subjected to the lovers which means that there is kind of collapsed a little bit for the time being quite a few tower moments going on for all of you um some of you have had major major towers where everything has collapsed some of you have had little towers that have been more often um but it's 
come to this kind of stalemate spirit saying come to a stalemate and they're not quite sure how to move it forward and that's where that song comes in and um, that hold on song because it says um you have to look at the lyrics i'm sure it's something like marie phillips or something like that i could be wrong um that's my earthly head and i'm in spirit energy but yeah because it says on that um someday someone's going to make you want to turn around and say goodbye till then baby are you going to let them hold you down and make you cry so um and then it says things are going to change so that's a really good, really prominent song for you really really um important song there is again even on this empress card you've got the fire energies and you've got the ice energies and we know don't we that water will put out a fire um and it's that kind of what has happened within this relationship um fire and water they they're not well, you know, it's just the element side of things, and that's what I, I don't align it with star signs because I don't agree with that, because uh, I could reel off all of them. But what they're saying is that mix of energies, that mix of elements, and it has complicated the situation because it has been two standpoints, and you're both actually wanting the same things, but there has been going about there, yeah, 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 they've gone about it, you've both gone about it different ways, which has caused this conflicting energy. Um, so, yeah, there is a bit of everything from all of this you are standing at different angles what's going to happen is you've got three of ones and you've got the stars so there is movement and there is action and there is being on the right path a lot of you have had to kind of have a period of separation or whatever has happened to reassess how you actually feel and um, you'll be like ellie i don't like it i know i know i know it's shit i know it's shit i'm not i'm not saying it's not shit but you've got to keep level-headed with it at this point in time try and release expectation of what is going to happen yes there is regret from their part yes there is remorse from both of your parts yes there is blame because you're trying to blame them they're also kind of trying to blame you but your blame is further on them um and the shame is kind of mirroring more towards them but it's also reflecting back to you so there is a bit of everything involved with deck number one a bit of all sorts of energies going on um there will be kind of a coming to a compromise there will be that mutual ground uh, whatever comes from it there will be that mutual ground between the two of you that olive branch will be offered at some point in the future uh, some of you it will be in the next couple of weeks some of you you're looking at about six to eight months as a collective so it, your timings are quite far out really to get a mutual energy on it but that's where it is and um, there is still hope if you're worrying that it's going to be over a lot of you aren't worrying about that because you're still really pissed off at them try to release any anger that you have any resentment because even if you have blame shame regret and remorse you do not want resentment because you're bringing that lower frequency into your energy which means that you're going to be feeling a bit stuck um, a little bit in muddy waters not sure how to move the situation forward um, time to lay the weapons down obviously if you don't feel ready then don't but when you do feel ready it'll be time to lay the weapons down yes there has been elements of deception um, within this deck regardless of what kind of deception has happened some of it will be they haven't told you how they felt some of you it will be like is there someone else this that and the other a lot of that will be based on fear if you don't know anything is fact don't go with it but if you feel like something is in your gut instinct then trust it um, don't let fears in and win but there has been a need for balance and this situation has had to kind of come to the way it has for you both to realise what you actually want to move the situation forward in the longer term with the star card. So it's just following the right path, lay your weapons down when you feel ready. Uh, what will help? Releasing meditations, letting go meditations. Uh, Spirit also saying tourmaline is a really good stone for you lot at the moment fire opal as well because fire opal is all about justice and with the justice card there's spirit saying fire opal will be a good card a uh, good card good stone for you good crystal you hear the wind so keep strong there is blame there is shame there is regret there is remorse but it's kind of singing off you're all at different points you're all they are some of them they are feelings yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of that they are feeling, some of that you are feeling, and then some of those re regret. No, I can't even say it. blame, shame, regret, and remorse is your mutual ground. But from that mutual ground, the olive branches can be given. Spirit is saying that remember that when we get seeds and we put seeds in the ground, we have to pour shit on them and manure and everything like that for these flowers to grow. So even though you're feeling like it's all been really shit and everything's been put on top of you and you're going through the dirt and you feel really low, that 
through that you will then grow and develop as a person which is why um which is why with the justice card i'm saying some of it is heart-centered energy and some of it is spiritual energy there is a purpose why the situation has happened a lot of it is self-love a lot of it is kind of coming up with those issues of uh, rejection a lot of it is kind of the jealousy issues and things like that is trying to be centering that energy back to unconditional love spirit is saying so make sure that you are trying to focus on that i know it's a lot it's hard for a lot of you because we are earthly aren't we you know these natural feelings even me i get them you know but we have to re release them because it's no good for us to hold on to stuff when we can't have that inner peace we'll all forever be in turmoil if we can't release it and whatever they're up to whatever they want to do whether it's whatever out of these blame shame regret and remorse if you release that energy you will feel better and it's not really about them and from that you can then focus on unconditional love if you want to be with them that will then give you that second chance to come back around and if you don't you walk away there you go, that's step number one. Okay, let me have a sip. I'm really thirsty today, oh. Okay, debt number two. What am I on? 15.49. Deck number two. Okay, can you tell me, please, is there blame, shame, regret, and remorse for those? My collective. So, as always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy. I will go into all your energies. I will pull out the strongest mutual one. And can you get me into their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. So, do -do -do. I had a song in deck number one, it's going round and round, so I presume it's for you as well. Um, normally when I give a message out, until I give it to the, like, until I, I've made sure it, I've got it out properly, it'll go round and round and round and it's still going round. So you've got the same song as them, which is Hold On. Uh, and I can't remember who it's by because I'm in spirit energy, but it's quite an old one. It's not about holding on to the situation. It's kind of about, it's about you and your self-love, etc, etc. So have a listen. It's from, I think it was four or five, so I'm 33 this year. Sorry, it's an old one. Um, okay. Can you get me into the, yeah, thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? Sorry, I got distracted by spirit then. Okay. And I've also just got a, uh, is it Cher? Do you believe in life after love? Got that one as well. Okay, can you tell me please, is there blame, shame, regret and remorse of debt number two? Sounds like a TV programme, doesn't it? In England we used to have something called the Generation Game, it makes me think of that. Is there blame, shame, regret, and remorse? Thanks, cards. Thanks for that. One, two, three. You haven't got such a hostile energy as debt one. Debt one was quite, quite um, intense. Yours is a bit more calm. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Okay. So what we're happening here is you've got the High Priestess and you've got the Empress. So you are a person that steps into both roles. The High Priestess um, is like me. I'm a High Priestess, that's the way I see it. Um, but then when I get my maternal instinct, I become the Empress. Okay, so there's these two kind of energies, two sides of you, and they see these two sides of you too, but they don't ever really know what side you're acting on. So sometimes you are the energy, the nurturing, the loving, the beautiful, like calming energy that they ha that they need, and then the other times you're like, I'm the kick-ass, cool female, don't mess with me, I'm independent, I'm sassy, I'm this, that, and the other. And they, your person, the majority of the time, hasn't really known what direction you're going in. It's a little bit of a Gemini thing going on here, a little bit of split energy. Um, and so th there has been kind of miscommunication that has happened within this relationship, or the equivalent of relationship, because they haven't really known what's going on within your head. And that then equates back to them, that you haven't known what's going on in, in their head 
so these cars remember it's never gender or ge yeah gender specific or sexually orientated so this could be them as well so there's kind of been this split energy you never really known how they felt they haven't known how you felt and even if you've expressed it to them you you've kind of and them they it's been very up and down it's been i'll give a little bit take a little bit give a little bit take a bit and it's had this kind of murky feeling that you haven't known how each other is feeling um because they've been acting on different kind of energies all right um there isn't really that much blame, shame, regret and remorse here. There isn't. There is a little bit, there is regret uh, to some extent, but there's also the fact that this is going to sort itself out. So even with a bit of regret, there's still hope. that you, Your person is still hopeful that this can come back round and you are still hopeful that this can come back round once you've had this period of relaxing. So you've got temperance and the six of cups. So this is saying that after a bit of time, there's going to be some kind of reconciliation, but it's about keeping balanced at the moment. There has been more miscommunication energies here. There is an element of mirroring. This Ali, look, fortune teller. Um, element of mirroring. So whatever's been going on, it's been kind of back and forward, this yin and yang, light and dark, you know, that mirroring type energy. So it's about having this break from it at the moment chakras are kind of aligning there's a lot of sexual energy here there's a lot of stability security energy and um, those two things have navigated the situation more than heart-centered emotions that feels more to be on their part than on your part you've acted more on heart-centered energy and spiritual energy but they've acted very much on security stability and sexual energy yes you have sexual energy too but theirs has been stronger um but they don't view the situation as over and you're hopeful that this situation isn't over it either but you do want them to feel a little bit bad however they do not feel that bad at this moment in time because they don't feel it's over okay they think that well they're feeling that at this moment in time there's a period of rest they're looking after themselves you've both been scarred by what's happened there isn't an element of heartache that is going on between the two of you with the three swords over the top of this woman but you're also feeling very very protected by spirit very very protected by the relationship you've got to have a bit of faith this relationship is going to move forward you're feeling more on top of your heart-centered emotions at the moment you feel more like you understand what's gone on they um, don't actually feel like that they feel worse than that they feel as if um, um, they're not sure how they're meant to be feeling and the more time you've left it the more time they've had to kind of reflect on it and that reflection has then made them have that kind of funny belly feeling when you're like oh something's not right they're feeling that you've then been picking up on them and thinking that that is your feelings but actually it's theirs so again make sure you're returning it to sender um there's also what happened within this there's been that uh, feeling trapped situation you've been feeling as if this relationship or equivalent of relationship has been at a standstill they haven't really been able to offer you more and whatever's happened is kind of it's done that thing you know um so the blame and shame there really isn't that much blame and shame here from their part obviously how you're feeling is completely different well it could be completely different i'm not saying it is but they don't feel that blame and shame they feel sad they feel low um they feel as if they've messed up so yeah regret will be in there um remorse they're hopeful that the situation will come back around so yeah it is there but it's minimal because they feel it's going to happen the blame and shame it's it's not really there from you know you want to blame them you have that moment of like Arr! i hate you you know you have love and hate people say really fine divide isn't that love and hate and you kind of step over that barrier kind of minute by minute some of you <laughs> some of you it's more like day by day but some of you it's minute by minute spirit is saying um it's feeling as if this ice queen over here it's uh, making me think of frozen you know when she's um they go let it go let it go you kind of got to release the situation for it to move forward for the two of you both of you them as well um a lot of you are holding on to what has happened in the past and holding on to or everything that's been said and you're going over it and over it and over it and over it especially if you're feeling more lonely if you're feeling more lonely please get out of the house more please go see your friends please just throw yourself into work do whatever you can to kind of step out of that energy okay um then you've got a page of cups seven of wands lots of kind of conflicting energies when there is that communication or whatever equivalent that you go on again try not to let the fires burn you. you you're feeling as if you kind of put your hand in the fire and you're the one that's come out burnt but you wouldn't have put your hand in the fire in the first place if you didn't think it was worth it so again that kind of reiterates that 
what would you say that was? Putting your hand in a fire, you know, play with fire, you get burnt, that kind of thing. If you knew what you were letting yourself in for. I'm not saying you all did, but some of you did know what you were letting yourself in for. And then you're upset because what's happened. Now that's not me throwing judgments, etc. at you. That's what Spirit is saying, you know. Um, but because the situation, there was such a strong love, heart-centered energy between the two of you. Even if they want to act more in security and stability, the love is really, really strong, which will, which will bring them back towards you. Um, they're going to be quite childish when they return or whatever equivalent that is. They might act quite childish. Um, they're going to come first and test the water with you. They might just give you a little bit here and there and just say, hey, how you doing? Or what's been going on? And then if they retreat again, just let them. They're going to just go and test the water with you first before they come back. Because however it's ended, it could be, it could go either way. They're not sure how it's going to go and you're not sure how it's going to go. So they will come and test the water or you will go and test the water, see how it goes. Retreat again if you don't think it's going to go well. Let them do whatever they need to do. Then there's a chance that this can come come back round and um, especially with you've got the um, renewal card yeah 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 renewal so it's more like a period of rest so those blame shame regret remorse yeah they are there but they're minimal because it's not over so you can't really hold on to it if it's gonna um, come back round that's how they feel how you feel kind of the same really but you just you you flip your between your hate love hate love that's it so that's step number two. Um, it, so, 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 that's it. If you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Uh, I do single questions, half hours and 15 minutes. Uh, manifesting plans as well. So they're individual plans tailored to you and what you want. Uh, so the way we, they work is I ask you a question and I say, if you could wake up tomorrow kind of to your new life, what would it look like? And you tell me what that is and then me and my guys draw up your plan for you. They're all personal, tailored, uh, not one is the same as the next, they're all very, very different to what your situation is. Uh, and what else? What else? What else? I think that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Alright guys, oh, go find me on Instagram if you haven't found me yet, it's just Mystic Love Tarot, that's the other thing. Lots of love, speak to you soon, bye!